good day everyone i welcome you to another practical pharmacognosy session pcg 212 which is practical pharmacognosy one and your lecturer for this practical class is mrs olaleye so for this practical schedule that is schedule two we will be looking at examination of proprietary crude drugs then your recommended textbook is your trace and advanced textbook so it is you are expected to consult this textbook in the course of your practical class the outline the outline for this practical schedule includes the objective the learning outcome that is what you're expected to learn at the end of this practical class the proprietary crude drugs expected to study them then the dosage forms in which this proprietary crude drugs can be found then the packaging of presentations in which these drugs can be presented then the exercise that is what you're expected to do then i'll also give you a list of proprietary crude drugs to work with the objective the objective of this practical class is to enable you as a student to study some proprietary products that have been manufactured from crude drugs the learning outcomes so at the end of this practical class you're expected to know some proprietary products obtained from crude drugs you are expected to know the chemical constituents in the samples provided you should be able to know the sources of these constituents in the samples and when i say sources i mean you should be able to tell us the full botanical source that is the origin of these constituents are they from plants are they from animals or mineral sources and when you're writing these names it is important for you to write the full name which should, which should include your genus name the species the author and the family it is important in, in order for you to get your full mark then you should be able to know the therapeutic uses of this of some of these samples that will be provided for you and you should also be able to differentiate between brand and generic names of proprietary products so what are these proprietary crude drugs in the context of these studies proprietary crude drugs relate to the products that have been obtained from crude drugs which may either be from plants animals or mineral sources and these products are obtained following series of manufacturing processes in order to arrive at standardized herbal products it is important for you to know that every drug has three names which include the chemical name the non-proprietary name and the the non-proprietary name also known as the generic names then the proprietary names also known as the trade names or the brand names so what are what do you mean by chemical names? For chemical names, this drug these names are given to a product, a drug product, according to the chemical composition of the drug. Then these names are arrived following the steps recommended by the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. That's the IUPAC body. That's the body responsible for the naming of any chemical constituents, anything that has to do with any chemical compound, anything that has to do with chemistry, so you have to mention the IUPAC body. For example, parastamon is chemically known as n acetyl p aminophenol Then ibuprofen is known as RS2 methyl propyl phenyl propanoic acid. So those are the chemical names of some of the of parastamol and ibuprofen respectively. Then for the non-proprietary names, also known as the generic names, these names are typically obtained from the chemical names and they are usually shorter examples you have guaifenesine, ibuprofen, parastamol and olive oil so you can imagine if you have to start calling parastamol every time you start saying n p aminophenol then for the ibuprofen rs 242 propanoic acid the name is really tongue twisting so it's better to just say ibuprofen then for the proprietary names, these are the names given to a drug product by the pharmaceutical manufacturer and it means that this name has been registered by the manufacturer. And when you're writing these proprietary names, it is important to write, they usually come with a symbol, that's the trademark symbol, the R in the circle or the TM. And it's when you're writing the name of the drug, the R sign or the TM is usually written at the top right hand corner of the name of, a, of the product. So this name can only be used by the single manufacturer. That means that if, for example, somebody is manufacturing parastamol and is calling it adegoke, so any other parastamol cannot be adegoke. We we'll rather give another name. So we can have same drug. We have several trade names depending on the number of manufacturers. Then it's also important to know that for proprietary names, the first letter of the name is capitalized. Then the dosage forms in which 
we can have these proprietary crude drugs we can have tablets examples didoxine and tafegot we can have syrups that stop suspension and miscaline injections atropine and physostigmine then the eye drops we have pilocarpine then the packaging or presentations in which this product can be found we can have them as crude product semi-finished product or finished products when we talk of crude proprietary products it means that these products are presented following series of collection drying grinding and packaging in this case broken pieces of the crude drugs may still be seen in the final products typical examples are vacuums help tea obtained from the senna plant you have the dried leaves of senna dried broken and packaged then you have curry thyme and ground cinnamon powder all these are examples of crude proprietary products then for the semi-finished proprietary products in this the drugs in these categories the steps involved in their manufacturing have gone further than those of the crude proprietary group and series of formulation techniques have also been introduced such as tableting and encapsulation we have examples being ginseng capsules and cascara sagrada capsules for the finished products these products are made after the active ingredient has been isolated and purified to get a final product examples you have your cafe god tablet cafe god contains egometrine and caffeine egometrine can be obtained from clavicet species then the caffeine can be obtained from coffee arabica all these have been isolated from the plant materials to produce cafe god tablet also digoxin from digitalis purpurea the digoxin has been isolated purified to get digitalis the digoxin tablet also acid and persistence powder that is a tincture of matricaria so the exercise you are expected to drop a table that will provide the following information the name of the drug the name of the manufacturer the pharmacognostic constituent the sources of the constituent and the therapeutic usage so this table you are expected to draw it and use the the following products on the table so you have your pure ground cinnamon, cascara sagadra, sloan liniment, castor oil, darkens help tea, acid and pressing sitting powder. We have Korean ginseng capsule, cod liver oil, cafe god tablets, alax tablets, pecan sitting remedy, gripe water. We have garlic capsule, senuco tablets, calamine lotion, ducros curry powder, lipton yellow label tea. Goya extra oil, Nescafe, the Jogsin tablet, and ginger alati. All these are the products that you are expected to work with and present your work in this format. The name of the drug, the name of the manufacturer, the pharmacognostic constituent, the sources. I have explained how you are expected to give the sources of this constituent and the therapeutic uses. So that's all for this practical schedule. Thank you.